Go ahead. So, this is my zucchini, and tonight I'm going to prepare a nice dinner of that. It looks like that. So, with the dinner, which is called lecho, I will also need jalapeno pepper. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about lecho, which is, I learned that from my mother. So for lecho, I will need zucchini. If you have old sausage, very good. It's ready to go. Uh, for such a zucchini, at least two onions. Dice, diced tomatoes, organic from Costco, cheap stuff, very good and two red peppers so i already cleaned the pepper and i just removed some seeds which you can further just put that down and make that dry so the next year will be ready to be planted and if you want to plant it remember to start that around February in your house um, you can have a fantastic red pepper in your garden and this is also jalapeno from my garden so let's start to cook the first thing which I have to do I have to dice onion and just fry that a little bit It doesn't have to be really thin guys. Here you go. It is not like a um, French cook, but uh, for a Polish one is good enough. you see onion has a nice golden color that's the time when I'm moving back to a nice pot lower the temperature and add a little bit of water And just leave that as the rest of the stuff is going to be prepared. So I already cut it red pepper, which I'm adding. It needs a little bit of time in order to be nice and ready to eat. That's why it's so important to have that one after the another. So, because of we have two ingredients, we are going to add a little vegeta, which basically consists of salt and uh, dry vegetable. This is vegeta which I'm using, I'm buying that in a Polish store and is no artificial flavors no animal ingredients no preservatives it's so important because all the preservatives are just processed by your liver which works already very hard whenever you are drinking a glass of wine or just drinking a beer not to mention about different things. So, one nice spoon of vegeta inside. I'm going to add pepper to this nice flavor if I'm going to find one. Oh, here you go. Another spoon 
of pepper. It's good whenever it's just the taste must be very spicy because I'm going to serve that with um, rice and that's why I need very spicy stuff. I would also add paprika but I don't have one just run of that that's okay so the next step is cayenne or cayenne pepper be careful with the spice it's really spicy but depends who likes what so and I have to steam it in the meantime I'm going to cut the rest of the stuff there is an so jalapeno little pieces of jalapeno I don't bother myself to remove the seeds from inside. It's it's going to be spicy, and that's okay. Here you go. Everything what is freshly cut, it's good. Here you go. The next thing, old sausage. It has a little bit of white stuff, which I'm going to wash out. Nobody is interested in eating this old sausage. It's really hard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare a nice dish of that. And nobody is going to even notice that it's old and dry because it's going to be nice and tasty and cut. cut. Oh. So sausage is ready. I just cut it that down. So I'm adding sausage inside. stir everything and I'm going to steam it until the pepper is going to be nice and tender my favorite zucchini I always peel off zucchini from the top which is the flower spot to the bottom where is the spot which is attached to the plant. It's good to prepare that in advance. It is the last vegetable which you have to add because it needs a little, not much time to be tender. So I'm going to add that like maybe 10 minutes before adding diced tomatoes. Cut. So this is a nice big zucchini from my garden. The zucchini which you can buy regularly in the store, they are small. So instead of one big zucchini, I would use like five, six uh, little zucchini and peel them and, and dice them let's dice Rolling. let's dice this zucchini it's huge so i'm going to cut in a half you can see that seeds are not big this is a relatively young zucchini so you don't have to remove seeds from the older vegetable it's rather you know it's better to remove the seeds so I'm going to cut that's a mysterious cut 
Let's do it this way. Don't afraid to make a bigger dice. The bigger the better because as I said this vegetable is already very tender. So if you are going to make very small dice so it's going to be cooked really quickly and it's going to disappear and you are going to create soup in state of nature. I'm preparing that in advance because just right after that I'm going to prepare rice for dinner. started so the red pepper is tender the next vegetable is the star of the movie zucchini going inside a little bit of stir and 10 minutes of steaming rice. How to prepare a really nice rice? Learn from my mother. An excellent Polish cook. Basically, you need two cups of water, cup of rice, which I'm going to Let's start boiling the water on the maximum. What I like to add to water is a little bit of salt and a little bit of butter. That's what's going to keep the, the rice from sticking to each other. Really little. Here you go. Remember, salt is unhealthy. According to the studies, it just raises your blood pressure. But I need to die from something. Let's die and have a fantastic life spiced by this food which I'm preparing. Okay, so I'm going to wait for the water to start. The water with salt and butter is boiling already. So I'm putting rice. Remember to put two cups of water, one cup of rice. And I'm going to cook that for three minutes, and maybe a little bit less. It's just this boiling, it's opening the rice, so the water can come, come in through the rice. Be careful because it's going to stick to the bottom of the pot as fast as possible. So the rice is done, it's still a lot of water in the rice and it's still boiling. So my idea of cooking the rice is just to put lid on, then I prepared already my table for the rice, so I'm going to place the rice 
and make sure that it's wrapped up nicely and it's going to stay like that for half an hour to 40 minutes the rice will be done so I just put a little bit of rice which is coming out really nicely a spoon and a little bit of lacha everything is served with white chardonnay and I hope you are going to enjoy your meal thank you